The other thing I wanted to talk with you about is I, I have not heard anybody else talk about this. You you talk about the importance of connecting emotionally with song lyrics, whether to help you learn the song or play the song. Say more about that and, and how that came about for you. Well, I, I've always been a lyrics guy and drawn to the lyrics and mm -hmm. If you if you think it through in these terms, it's it's pretty simple. But when you're part of an ensemble, you're part of the storytelling process, and that 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 focal point is the singer telling a story that you are a part of. So you're a cinematographer on this film, and you can screw it up. If you you know I mean, it, it, music is much more than just what's the beat. I stop here, you want to fill in the chorus, 16 bar chorus, it's, it's more than just numbers and this is conceptually what will work with the song or even, uh, oh, this is nice with the song, but if you know what the song is saying, then you can attach yourself emotionally to the piece of music. So if, you, if you're a singer songwriter or whatever, it, you call me in your studio to play What's the song? I want to. I want to read the lyrics down. Is it a happy song? It did. Are you brokenhearted? Is it a song about a, a friend of yours that died? Like you, you, you kind of have to get into the character of what the song is, and then you're really part of the mood of that song. And you're not just trying to get a job done. You're trying to. Uh, I'm trying to please you. You've hired me, and I'm here to play the drums and like this. Is this good? There you go, sign here, I'll get my check, nice meeting you. Hmm. It, th that way you could really attach yourself to the song and to the people that you're having the experience as you're creating it. That That's like another deeper layer of, of stuff there that most guys don't think about or most guys don't even care about. Hmm. But that's that's what I, I try to do and, and I think some of the best musicians and some of the best drummers uh, whether they know it or not, they 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 do have that level of um, of care and commitment. Right. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic concept. I, I really like it. Say a little bit about when you don't really connect to some of the lyrics, or you're just not you're just not. It's not your jam. It's, you know, you're not jiving with it. What's oh, your well, mindset? Then, then, then you can sometimes feel that, right? Yeah. You, you can sometimes feel that. You know, it's. And I'm not talking about just like on a record date, but you could you could walk into a, a club or a bar or whatever, and there are guys playing and they're punching the clock and they don't they don't care about being there. It, it it sounds like they don't care. It sounds like the drummer is going, oh, I didn't call my girlfriend on bridge. She's gonna kill me. And the bass player is like, three more songs and we're freaking out of here. And the guitarist is on his ninth beer and he's looking at his watch and like that's that's the the. That's the shit that's coming off the stage. And then you go to another place and you see someone's connected to the music or you see a drummer that's, you got three or four guys all agreeing on something and w where the pocket is and having a good time. And then you're like, now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. Because they are emotionally, whether they know it or not, con connected. They're not just getting a job done. And that's, that's one reason why, for me anyway, it's how I work at, at other people work differently, but you know, if you were to call me to, to do your gig and I had to learn 20 songs in four days, five days, I would learn the songs. I wouldn't sit there and go like, okay, you know, I'm good enough that I can do this. And I'll just write it, shoot, shoot. And then I'm, I'm just, I'm getting through your gig. I'm supplying you the service of, um, I'm, I'm letting you make your money tonight and I'm helping you out. I'm subbing and, and, Okay, cool. Can I go now? But if I walk in there and I've learned the stuff, I can own it. I can be part of the conversation. I can now be a living, breathing organism with it without my head stuck or counting bars or whatever. Then we've just had a, a, a shared collective experience together and people go, dude, thanks. That was, that was great. And then you're a nice guy. Now you're getting phone calls. But if you go in there just thinking, like, uh, I, you know, I'm good enough just to fart my way through this, and I'm going to give this gig just the the bare essential of, of, of attention and care. Too many people do that, and it's a friggin' bummer. And I, I've been experienced, I've been on the bandstand with some great players who I'm like, I prepared for this. I'm busy too, and you're farting all over this. 
half of what you're playing is great because you're great, but half of what you're playing is wrong because you didn't care and you, you're just trying to get through the job. I want to live the job. I don't want to get through the job. So that's, that's where I come from. Any special tips or techniques of how you learn a song if you've got you know, a few days to do that? First that's off, your... you have to want to learn the song. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's yeah. a big one. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, yeah. I, I learn by repetition. Okay. If, you, if, you, if you call me on a Monday and, and we're, we're, doing, we're playing on Friday, for those days, I would have that music on in the shower. I'd have that music on when I'm cooking. I'd have that music on when I'm driving. I would have that music on all the time. And then, now that I'm starting to know it, if there's some tricky figures or what's that, or that's kind of a weird, that's a, that's a, that's a seven bar phrase there. I, would, I, would, I now key in on it. And thank God we have the technology. I remember doing cassette tapes. Right. Uh, uh, I would do that over and over again until I know what it is because I don't want to have my head in the chart. Something about rock drumming masterclass, um, and I, it's another thing that reinforced my notion, is when people would send me, you know, videos or YouTube links of, of their uh, rendition to one of the play alongs. Mm -hmm. The guys that were the best players, they learned it. The guys that were the worst players, guys with their head stuck in the chart the whole time. Mm -hmm. Worried about the minutia of which Tom is that? Is it Splash? Is it the, that's the bell of the ride? They're worried about all this stuff. Or if you just learn it, then you, then you, you know it. Yeah. And yeah. you're going going for the feel of it at that t at that point, right? Let's do it over and over and over again. If, if it's, a, you know, if A, you're commissioned to learn something and you don't like the song, well, you got to learn it anyway. But if you like the song, then it's more of a pleasurable experience to <laughs> listen to it over and right. over and over. Yeah. It's yeah. a little easier. Uh, a little bit of sugar makes a medicine go down, whatever, and then then you know it. And for me, one, once I learn something, I, I kind of know it forever. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. And another analogy: in, in high school, you ever have to cram for a test? Sure. You don't remember a damn thing from that. But if you were were learning a subject that you enjoyed and you had a teacher that you enjoyed, you know that stuff forever. It's okay. that's the same analogy. You know, you want to you want to get through the job, or do you want to? Live the job, be, be be part of it, and own it, and eat, sleep, and breathe it. That's that's my thing.